good morning. Uh, my name is Rob Hawes, uh, and I'm one of the faculty members of the Orlando Health Digestive Health Institute. It's my pleasure today to introduce what we feel is the most advanced design for a therapeutic endoscopy unit, uh, perhaps in the world. I would like to give you a little bit of a historic perspective to uh, bring you to the point of how we developed this unit. When I started doing endoscopy uh, back in the 1980s, there was no uh, designed endoscopy unit. We performed endoscopy in a little room across from our offices. There was no pre-op or post-op or recovery area. Patients were recovered in the hallway. When we wanted to do an ERCP, we slept our equipment down to the radiology uh, unit. Uh, we waited until they finished their barium enemas and then oftentimes in the late afternoon or evening, we would be able to do our ERCP. Obviously things have uh, e uh, evolved uh, tremendously from that point in time. I think the modern era of endoscopy design began when uh, purpose-built units uh, were uh, designed and then made. And what I mean by a purpose-built unit is that a specific space in the hospital was set aside to design the endoscopy unit. Secondly, there was a specific pre-op, post-op area, uh, recovery area. The rooms themselves were designed for a specific endoscopic procedure. So each room was designed uh, for a particular procedure. Uh, fluoroscopy now became part of the endoscopy unit uh, in the therapeutic room. We would usually have a room for advanced therapeutics. Uh, so fluoroscopy uh, was brought into the endoscopy unit as well. And then there was a, a regulatory approved uh, rooms for uh, cleaning and, and sterilizing or cleaning scopes and then storage of scopes. So that brings us to the modern era of uh, endoscopy unit design. The movers for continued evolution of endoscopy are several fold. One of the movers is anesthesia. Uh, now uh, we use anesthesia for every single case that we do in this unit, uh, and that requires specific design uh, in advance. Secondly, and probably most importantly, is the concept of flexibility. Uh, that's flexibility for scheduling, flexibility for the endoscopist, and flexibility uh, for equipment. For scheduling, uh, as an example, uh, I do a myriad of different procedures uh, in, a, in a single day. I'll do an EUS, I'll do an ERCP, I'll do a colon resection. Uh, so I do variable procedures. If we have a single room for ERCP, a single room for EUS, a room for uh, regular endoscopy, then somehow we would have to move around uh, and that kind of flexibility uh, is, is unworkable uh, in the current uh, era of endoscopy. So I need to be in one room, I need to be block scheduled throughout the day, and that room needs to be flexible so that I can do whatever procedures I'm doing in the room. And that stands for my other colleagues as well. They're in a room and they do their cases uh, and they stay in one room and that creates a, a good efficiency. The second thing is the endoscopists themselves. Um, we've seen a, an explosion in the diversity of procedures that people are doing. So one endoscopist uh, might do a colon resection. Uh, and then, uh, for instance, our, our, uh, one of our advanced endoscopists, Dr. Bang, may then do a poem. Uh, she then may do an ERCP. Uh, she then may do an EUS. So that needs to be accommodated in one room. Uh, so that requires a variety of, of equipment. The third thing is uh, uh, the uh, procedures themselves. Uh, as I mentioned before, a myriad of procedures were done. So you have to have the equipment, the scopes and the other equipment uh, necessary to do those procedures. The other driving force is the development of live endoscopy. And so uh, these units need to be uh, integrated uh, so that you can do a seamless video transmission, a video recording. Uh, so those are the drivers for the uh, modern uh, endoscopy unit. And so uh, today uh, I want to uh, show you 
uh, the room that we have designed that we think encompasses all of the necessary uh, aspects of doing therapeutic endoscopy um, going forward. So with that, uh, I'd like to introduce you to the room uh, sort of section by section. So the first uh, aspect of this room that I want to talk about is the fluoroscopy unit. This is made by Omega, and we've worked with Omega now for well over a decade. I think the, the unique thing about them is that they began uh, making uh, fluoroscopy units dedicated to ERCP and therapeutic endoscopy. And this has been a major, a major advance for us uh, in this field. This particular unit has the greatest amount of flexibility uh, we feel. So part of the component is the C-arm is fixed. So this is fixed to the floor. Uh, and then when we want to use it, it is rotated uh, over the table. So when we don't need fluoroscopy, we can uh, put it away against the wall. The table is specially designed uh, for a, a large amount of weight. It's designed uh, to be very wide, so it uh, is very good for endoscopy. And then importantly for the flexibility of this room, it is a mobile table. So if we're not doing a fluoroscopic procedure, we can move this table out uh, and we can put the C-arm against the wall and that creates uh, tremendous uh, flexibility. So that's the Omega fluoroscopy system uh, that fits, I think, extremely well into this advanced uh, endoscopy unit. So another aspect uh, of this room that's uh, critically important uh, is the booms and their configuration. So booms are a, a, a modern part of uh, an advanced endoscopy unit, but they're extremely important. We have worked uh, with Steris uh, now for well over a, a decade, and uh, they've been excellent partners uh, in design uh, and building uh, of these booms. So the importance of booms boils down to, to several different factors. One is that if you look at the floor, there's minimal to no wires on the floor. In our old endoscopy unit many years ago, there were wires all over the floor. And frequently, uh, after cleaning one day, plugs would become unplugged, wires would become unplugged, and it was a disaster. So one aspect of booms is that it keeps things off of the floor. The second important uh, aspect of booms is that they deliver the equipment, the endoscopic equipment, to a proper position relative to the endoscopist. And we talked earlier about this concept of flexibility. One time I'm doing an ERCP uh, and I need the equipment in this position. Next I'm doing a colonoscopy and I need the equipment in another position. So you can see here that these booms are, uh, can be moved around in any position that is optimal to develop, to deliver this equipment uh, to the proper position relative to the endoscopist. The third important thing about um, uh, booms is the monitors. So with these booms, we can deliver these monitors to whatever position is optimal for the endoscopist to view. And we've talked a lot in the past about um, uh, injuries that we we have from doing endoscopy and one of them uh, is uh, be having to look look around for, for monitors and in this case whatever procedure we do uh, it can be the monitors can be positioned so they're comfortable uh, for me to view so uh, these are the monitors uh, they're completely flexible to do any uh, procedure uh, that we want to do in this room. Perhaps the most innovative aspect of this unit is the fact that we have a myriad uh, of equipment uh, available. It used to be that you would have one manufacturer in each room, and that's held true now for, for quite some time. There's been a, a fantastic evolution uh, in endoscopes and not all manufacturers make all endoscopes. 
Not all endoscopists are comfortable with all endoscopes. In this room, uh, we have Olympus available uh, to us. Uh, all aspects of, uh, of Olympus are available. We also have Fuji. You can see here the Fuji uh, ultrasound machine currently is in this room, but we have capability for all manufacturers of ultrasound. We have Pentax available uh, in this room, a Pentax uh, processor available in this room. And then we have Boston Scientific available. So their single operator cholangioscope and their single use duodenoscope uh, can be seamlessly used uh, for any procedure uh, with no, um, uh, no movement. For energy, we have the Irby generator, a, a sort of a state-of-the-art uh, Irby generator. So we have all of this equipment available depending on whatever the endoscopist desires for optimal uh, completion of a particular procedure. So I mentioned earlier about the importance of anesthesia. Uh, and one aspect uh, that's really, really important is, is that the anesthetist needs to stay in one position. You don't want a situation where uh, the anesthetist has to, to unplug their equipment and move to another part of the room. So the, the flexibility of this room uh, is tied in to the fixed nature of the uh, anesthesia. So whatever procedure we want to do, and we can do any procedure that's currently done uh, in endoscopy, can be done with the anesthetist staying in this position. We can move the bed, we can move the equipment, we can move the monitors, whatever is necessary, but it allows the anesthetist to stay in one position. So the next uh, aspect of this room, which is critically important, is the video integration. So again, we've worked with Steris for over a decade in, in terms of video integration. Uh, what we can do uh, is we can uh, record any procedure that we want to do. We can project any image generated in this room on any monitor that's here. So if I'm doing an ERCP, I can have live fluoroscopy here. I can have EUS here. I can have, uh, I can have endoscopy here. Uh, I can have, in this case, we have, uh, uh, the, we're projecting cytology. Uh, we've done a, a, an FNA and and we're projecting cytology. So uh, through one control center, we can switch any input to any monitor. Uh, and then we can seamlessly video record uh, with a touch of a button. So this is the video integration control panel here. Uh, and so just by operating these displays, we can put any input onto any monitor. And secondly, uh, we just have to let the nurse know if we want to record. And then with the touch of the button, they can begin recording from up to three different uh, inputs uh, per procedure. So a simple control panel, uh, easily operated, that integrates the entire room. We also have in the room, uh, in-room uh, microscope. Uh, this is, uh, we partnered with Nikon. Uh, we have been very pleased with uh, their microscope uh, technology. So we still do ROSE, uh, rapid on-site evaluation. We feel strongly that the information uh, that we can gather immediately during the procedure is important to optimal patient care. So we will obtain a, a sample and then we will have our cytotechnologist prepare it and then we can look at it on the microscope. As I showed earlier, uh, what the uh, uh, technician or the cytopathologist is looking at so while I'm doing a procedure, the images from the microscope can be projected onto a, a TV monitor where I'm working. So I can continue my work and yet uh, participate in the information that's being gleaned from the, from the cytopathology. So I hope, appreciate your attention uh, as we've gone over this room. I hope that the information that you've gleaned from this presentation will help you uh, to design your own endoscopy unit going forward. Thank you very much.